hello guys welcome back to my channel happy new year fam and thanks for subscribing to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make a simple ankara wallet using your calendar so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay connected for more videos i'm going to list out the materials in the description box now the wallet you are going to be making it has three layers which comprises of the front the back and the flap so we are trying to achieve a pot that looks like this for the measurement of this post you can use any measurement of your choice okay but well, the measurement I'm using here is 11.6 11.6 so the back the front is going to be 4.5 so I'm going to mark 4.5 for the back and the front. Now the shape of the pulse is up to you, it could be curved, it could be straight, it could be triangle, it could be any shape you are comfortable with. But for this pulse I'm going to be leaving mine flat. Not to worry, I'm going to show you how to get a curved shape. So I'm going to be using this um, thread, um, I don't know what to call it, a plastic stand or something to illustrate how you can get the curve. So this how I normally get the curve. I normally use this to get um, a curve shape if I want to curve the edges of a bag or a purse. Now to make this purse, the first step is to apply glue on the calendar. You don't need to apply glue on the foam so it doesn't get too sticky. So you just apply glue on the calendar and place the calendar on the foam. Once you've done that, you trim off the excesses, that the excess foam. I'm just going to quickly label this, the flap, the back and the front now this will help me um it will serve as a guide when i'm um, working on the post to avoid making mistake the next step is to place the foam on the wrong side of the entire fabric now you're not going to be applying glue on the foam like i said you're just going to apply glue at the edges of the calendar as seen okay so once you've done that, you just place the foam back on the wrong side of the anchor fabric. Then you fold the edges of the anchor all the way around. So sorry if my voice is sounding funny. It's actually 1 a.m. right now. I had a lot of work during the day, so I had to shoot this video very late since I couldn't upload the video last week. So I'm so sorry if my voice is not clear enough. So now uh, for the flap, I'm going to be using um, a shipboard for the magnetic snap because I don't want the magnetic snap to penetrate from the other side of the post. So just um, observe what I'm doing, you understand. But I made sure that the um, shipboard is not this exact measurement or the same measurement with that of the flap. I minus like one or two stroke out of the measurement, that out of the width of the flap, just the flap not the full body the next thing i'm going to do is to trace the body of the pot on the lining fabric so back to the sheet board we cut out initially i'm going to place it at the extreme 
um, edge of where we marked where we traced out I'm going to place the shipboard at the extreme end So before we proceed, we are going to fix the magnetic snap. I'm going to take note of the measurement and divide it by 2, which means I'm going to be placing the magnetic snap at the center of the course from the flap and from the front um, part of the course. So now the shipboard, we are going to be placing it on the flap. Now for the sewing, the first thing we are going to sew the front part, where this magnetic snap is, we are going to sew the front. Now you can see how neat the sewing is. Okay. The next step we are going to do is to fold the front down to the back. And we are going to sew from there downward. We are going to sew it straight downward all the way around. And we are done. So thank you so much guys for watching my video. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you next week.